are basically receiving the awards. They're receiving these awards for their academic achievement nominated by the school or by their performances within the different learning zones and also by their peers and teachers. Now, I will introduce our special guest today, Mr. Wayne Saunders, and I'll give you a little background on Wayne. Wayne is an entrepreneur. He's a, he's a founder, an executive of Boss Crown Productions, which is basically an innovative pioneering film production company. Started by himself as he left, um, well, as he went to college, and he branched out into making movies, documentaries, uh, music videos. His portfolio is vast. Wayne is very, very, how should I say, adaptable in the way he actually treats young people and presents himself to young people. Main reason I actually say that is because as a young man, to see him striving and to ensuring that he actually makes a difference, not only for himself currently, but also for young people, not just in London, but right across the UK, and he's also now gone international. He's mentored over 1,500 young people since he started over 10 years ago. He goes off to universities to actually lecture and be a guest speaker in basically performing arts, media, filmmaking, directing. This young man is also, in 2009, he received from the British Film Institute, which is a very prestigious um, award, from the British Film Institute, he was basically the freelance producer for 2009. He beat all his compatriots who had heavy backing behind them to actually make some hardcore, hard-hitting, focal, realistic drama that actually affects the lives of our young people within Britain. He's won accolades from other producers. He's been on the news and um, presenting his work. So I'm proud to present this young man to actually come down to Phoenix High School and see our young people. We're trying our best to get Wayne to be part of our media center within school. However, he's a very busy man. Recently, he was meant to be here. However, he had to basically edit one of, edit one of his films for the Cannes Film Festival that happened a few um, weeks ago. So ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, fellow staff, students, I give to you a very young, energetic, hard-working, dedicated young man, Mr. Wayne Saunders. Yeah, first of all, I mean, we just start after that, you know? That's a big up. Is that not a big up? Yeah, is that not a big up? There's a lot of people for a few, um, a good few years now, and it's um, always been a positive kind of moment. Also, before I start, give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, that's the best you can do right now. It's always about achievement and celebrations. So when I say on the, when I say on the one, yeah, stand your feet. On the two, clap your hands, and on the three, shout as loud as you can. So give me a one. Give me a two. Just let me prefix. 
So I used to do pre and I used to the young kids and stuff. I used to love stopping in sixth form from coming through the corridors, things like that. But, you know, school days are the best days of your life. Yeah, I don't know if you enjoyed school, you enjoyed school. <laughs> So when you move on to go to maybe college, university, whatever moves you do make in life, you've got to remember to enjoy those times when you're in education. Yeah, because when you're in education, education is a place where you develop. Yeah? It's to bring more skin with you out, out so you can, you know, maybe one day you can come in and mean, um, guest lecturing or I do and stuff like that as well. Training stuff is more kind of thing where you've got a time limit. I've got training with people, so I've got a time limit on them. And um, it's more kind of external, so I'm putting on them. But remember, education is an internal thing. You know, I always feel great to get to come up here with a jig on the stage, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I was stereotyped before, when I was in school, I was kind of stereotyped, didn't it? That would have kind of really reached the way I was going to reach and stuff. But I had a lot of confidence in me, and I'm certain teachers tried to kind of hold that down and stuff, but I always knew who I was going to be and what I'm, what I'm doing right now. So I always feel pretty blessed to be here right now. So I'm saying to you guys out there, remember, this is your best days of your life, regardless. If you're not going to feel to go to school and certain things happen, it's your best days of your life. All I like to say to you guys is when you get a bit older and you're doing business and stuff like that as well, never be on time. Never be on time. What do I mean by that? Never be on time. Be early. Pardon? Be early. Be early. That's right, be ahead of time. Yeah? Never be on time, be ahead of time. Does that make sense? It might not make sense, but it does. Never be on time, be ahead of time. That's something that you're going to find that's really going to kind of help you as you go through in life. If somebody says you've got to be somewhere, make sure it's ahead of time. Don't just be like 5 o'clock on the door. You know, even today I put my hands up, I've got here about 3 minutes to 5. But I'm a juggler, I do a little juggling in terms of what I do. But always make sure you're ahead of time, no matter what, to be ahead of time in life. Another thing I can kind of see with you guys in terms of uh, your journey. Don't watch what your friends do, do your thing. Yeah? Don't watch what your friends are doing, do your thing. Move by all the paths, yeah? Move by all the paths to kind of tread and live in life and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't know, have you, have you watched the World Cup? Yeah. No. No? Okay. We'll be the start today, let's go watch tennis. I've met uh, Nelson Mandela. Now, somebody said you can meet Nelson Mandela. Um, you know, I would have said, when or where? But you just do your thing. Remember Muhammad Ali? You now people say, oh, no, now Muhammad Ali always looked at Muhammad Ali when I was young. I didn't expect I'd be able to meet him and stuff like that. I've met people who I wouldn't expect to meet. But one of my greatest inspirations, yeah, can anybody guess? Anybody guess who greatest inspiration would be? Pardon? Who? Who? I've met a lot of great people in life. One of my greatest inspirations is my mom. Yeah? Oh, oh. yeah. Thank you. 